animal rights advocates often encounter the the charge that uh, there are more important things that we should be thinking about. Uh, all these human problems uh, in terms of uh, uh, the violations of human rights in totalitarian regimes, for example, or, or the children uh, dying of uh, AIDS in Africa and, and so on. And there are two things uh, that, uh, that I, I think when I hear this. Uh, one is uh, almost always when people raise this objection, they're not doing anything to address the human problems. It's not like they're sacrificing their quality of life or giving up their time or making, you know, really uh, 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 deep donations to uh, th those who are trying to help the children or trying to help the victims of totalitarian regimes. These people are out golfing on the and or, or yachting or, or playing soccer or something. They're not. They're not doing anything to improve the lot of the human beings that they mention. So there's a certain hip hypocrisy that I find uh, quite commonly in those who raise this objection. But the other thing, the second thing is that uh, <laughs> it's not an either or proposition. It's not like you say, well, either I will, I'll do something for the children who are victims of AIDS in Africa or I'll do something to help animals or either I'll do something to help the victims of totalitarian regimes or I'll do some. You can do both. Mm -hmm. You can stop wearing the skin and the, and the feathers and the, the, the flesh of animals. You can uh, stop buying cosmetics that have been tested on animals. You can stop eating their dead, rotting flesh uh, and also work for the victims of uh, AIDS and children in, in Africa and uh, the victims of totalitarian regimes. It's not an either-or proposition.